Now I've previously set it up as a wireless access point uh, as detailed by the descriptions at Pi Point, which are really, really good. So just follow those instructions and uh, I'll just do the last step, which is to actually start up the access point. So we've now got the Raspberry Pi as an access point. I've got the Motorola Zoom tablet. And so we've got a wireless connection. It's connected, I called it test. It's connected to test. And then the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to start up VNC server. So the thing to notice about here is I've changed the geometry to be 1280 by 750. And so you'll see why in a second. So I've started that, so you've got VNC running. I then downloaded onto the uh, tablet uh, Android VNC. So I'm going to start that up. So when I set up the uh, access point, I set it up to be on the 10.0.0.1 as an IP address. So I've set that in the address. I've put my password in. Now, if I go to connect, we see that the tablet is downloading first frame and you see the recognizable Raspberry Pi desktop. And now if I want to start something, say, I uh, want to start idle, then I can just tap that, tap open. I've got remote control of the Raspberry Pi. So in actual fact, I can disconnect the monitor completely. If I stay at the start of the access point in the VNC server at runtime, which there's instructions online as to how to do, then I've got a headless uh, Raspberry Pi that I can control through a tablet. So I know it works for Android, you probably get a VNC client for a, uh, an iPad as well. And I just thought that was really useful because that way you can uh, run whatever you like uh, on the Raspberry Pi without having to have a monitor, you can just use a tablet.